like most kids, when you're 18, you have no idea what you want to do. And my mom kept telling me, you'll be good in hotel management because of my personality. I had an outgoing personality, I was very helpful. And so it stuck with me. From the start, I figured out this was right, and so I continued uh, on that path. I grew up in uh, Syria, and when I was 18, I left and I came to the U.S. to pursue my studies. When I got here, I did not speak English. I spoke a little bit of French, and I studied English at a college in Indianapolis, Indiana. While I was in school, I also did internships in the summer. But because I was a foreign student, I did not have a work visa. So I ended up working two summers full-time for free. So I was able to uh, learn as much as I wanted because the company was willing to put me in any position I want. And that helped me when I graduated to get into management right away because I've already had some experience under my belt. So once I graduated, my first job was at the Boston Park Plaza Hotel. And then from then on, I continued working in Boston for a few years. And I had met my wife at the time and we moved to Montreal. I worked in Montreal for about five, six years. I was in um, New Jersey for a few years. From New Jersey, I went back to Ontario, Canada, then back to Montreal, and this opportunity came up in Portland, Maine to open a hotel, which was the Hilton Garden at the airport, and it was just a temporary assignment for me to open the hotel, get it going. We opened a Hilton Garden Inn in 2001 in April, and then 9-11 hit and being airport properly, we were hit hard. It was a huge challenge for me. It was my first general manager position. We had to fight for the business. We had to do a lot of marketing and I learned a lot more than I even bargained for. So that one year stint extended a little longer because I did not want to leave until I made that hotel successful. But then by that time, I realized Maine is where I would like to stay. And that's when I met the owners of the Portland Harbor Hotel and Hart Hotels and they offered me the opportunity to manage the uh, Portland Harbor Hotel here back in 2004, coming from branded hotels into a, a non-branded boutique hotel that had just opened two years earlier uh, was a big challenge that uh, I was very happy to take on. I managed the Portland Harbor Hotel as well as the Inn at Diamond Cove on Great Diamond Island, which is a great, unique property. And we also have Diamond's Edge Restaurant and Marina. Just to work with Gerard is, is absolutely the best and he is an operations guy. I mean, he understands the operational aspects of the property from every department, every standpoint of the property on multiple properties. He has a great attention to detail. He's very creative and very innovative. I find running a boutique hotel and non-branded hotel uh, a lot more challenging, at least to me personally, than running a branded hotel in terms of generating revenue and staying competitive in the market. You have to fend for yourself. You have to go out there and do marketing, do advertising. A lot of the marketing and the advertising falls on me. Yes, it adds to the workload, but it is rewarding because I'm learning new things all the time. I'm staying on top of the trend. That's part of our success, but that's just part of the puzzle. Without the people, uh, you're not gonna have a successful hotel. My job is to manage people, to get the right people in the right uh, positions, giving them the training, and then watch them succeed. Because when you put the right employee in the right place and they enjoy their job, it shows. Gerard is very approachable to every member of the associate team here and really understands the needs of customers and every possible detail that it takes to provide a great experience for whoever stays here. When your guest has a good experience and they score you 100% when they check out, that is very rewarding because that means every single person in the chain of the experience that the guest had did their job perfectly and the guest was impressed and they enjoyed it. So that's the end result that I work for. So being successful within the industry and at work is really reliant on the people around me. I have some great people, but personally, all that wouldn't happen if it wasn't my personal success and personal life with my wife and my kids. And that's what helped me succeed at work. I think I made the right career choice. It's been, it's been very rewarding. I've enjoyed doing it and I'll probably continue enjoying it for the rest of my career, forever.